Good morning and happy Wednesday everyone. I'm Stormwatch Meteorologist Matt Bullock. We're starting the day on the comfortable side. Temperatures around the low 60s to upper 50s. 60 degrees here in Oak Hill, 62 in Beckley. A little cooler off to our east at 58 degrees in Raynell and in Lewisburg. Yesterday was very hot as we reached our high in Beckley, 86 degrees, about 9 degrees warmer than average. And today, unfortunately, it is going to be another hot day. We're going to see our highs around the mid 80s. So if you do want to go for a run this afternoon, make sure you stay hydrated because it will be very hot this afternoon with mostly sunny skies. Doppler radar shows everything is quiet for your morning's commute. It's great driving conditions. If you're dropping your kids off at school or on your way to work, mostly sunny skies for your morning's commute. But we do have some showers on the way. The morning's going to be quiet, but as you get late into the afternoon, there's a good chance for a stray shower in the afternoon. And then chances for showers and storms kind of die out by later tonight into tomorrow. And here's what's going on. We're going to be warm today due to a high pressure system. Our wind's going to come out from the southeast, very warm and muggy. But we do have a cold front off to our west that's going to move on in and it's going to bring some isolated stray afternoon showers and storms around about three o'clock this afternoon. Really nothing too much to worry about. Then a high pressure right behind this front kind of settles on in. it's going to bring cooler temperatures as our winds will come around from the north. So it's going to feel like early fall by tomorrow and Friday. But notice this. If you look down to our south, this is Hurricane Dorian. It's actually going to bring some cloud coverage for tomorrow. So we're most likely going to see mostly cloudy skies. We do have a couple tropical advisories from Hurricane Dorian. Hurricane warnings along the Florida coastlines, Georgia, South Carolina, and also parts of North Carolina for Wilmington. And for the Outer Banks, they have a hurricane watch. And as of right now, Hurricane Dorian is a Category 2 hurricane with sustained winds at 105 miles an hour. It's right off the coastlines of Florida near Daytona Beach, bringing some heavy rainfall this morning. It is projected to go along the coastline, especially really close to Charleston and Myrtle Beach. It could make landfall in the Outer Banks of North Carolina around Cape Hatteras as a Category 1 hurricane with sustained winds at 90 miles an hour. It's going to dump lots of rainfall, especially along the coastlines of the southeast. As you can tell, colors around the orange and reddish colors and yellowish, that indicates about 5 to 10 inches of rainfall we could see for Wilmington possible for Charleston. So if you do have any family members that live in the coastal cities or towns, just send them on our way to West Virginia because we're going to be dry. We're going to be very warm today. It's going to feel almost like fall for the week. And so perfect weather to go hiking or to be outside. If you take a look at your hour by hour forecast, warm temperatures in the 80s, a slight chance for a stray shower in the afternoon from that cold front. Tonight's forecast, partly cloudy skies, can't rule out a stray shower. It will start to dwindle as we get later until tomorrow morning. Very comfortable in the low 60s. Tomorrow, uh, we finally get some relief. Temperatures in the mid 70s, mostly cloudy skies due to Hurricane Dorian. But that, that's our only impact from that storm. And again, we're gonna be very beautiful weather for high school football for Friday night. A gorgeous weekend ahead, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. And then we gradually warm back up into the low 80s.